Yeah, the first uh, cross country of the year is always good to, you know, just to to get your feel back for racing. Training's one thing and racing uh, another. So uh, it was good to start the cross country season early, uh, try and work in a few events before the World Cup. Yeah, the South Africans have really picked up uh, the game, you know. Um, I used to be able to go to a cross country race pretty relaxed and, and not too worried. Uh, but Philip Bass has really been working hard over the last two or three years. Um, he's also working with the same coach that I'm, Jeroen Swart. So I know the sort of work he's putting in. He's putting in the effort and it, he's reaping rewards. You know, he, he sort, sort of gets closer, closer with every national race. And, uh, you know, I see that as a good thing. Uh, I'm being pushed a little bit harder in South Africa, which obviously will, will make me more comfortable at World Cup level. Um, well, this year we've got the 29er bikes, uh, same as last year. Um, we're not on 26ers at all anymore. Um, we've basically got the Epic, which I've got here, which I race in uh, the Absa Cape Epic. It's the perfect bike for a, a multi-day long stage race. And then also any other marathons over sort of 100k. I just find the suspension is, is a big uh, benefit to have. Um, and then in your more technical cross-country races, Last year at the World Championships, I opted for the Epic and also in the Czech uh, Nova Mesta World Cup. So it's definitely a, a well-suited bike to all-round courses. Um, it, it's hard to, to pick a favorite. These days, uh, they build good courses all over the place. Um, Peter Maritzburg is probably my favorite just because it's, it's a home ground advantage and, and the local crowd. And uh, there's a lot of gears out there um, on race day. So, from an events perspective, I'd probably say that's, that's my favorite race.